Lack of infrastructure funding is strangling the nation's economy. A better jobs market seen for the future. The desire for paperless bids brings a solution. And contractor materials prices move upwards. That and more on Construction News Tracker, brought to you by Caterpillar and produced by 4constructionpros.com. From highways to rail corridors and waterways, the U.S. infrastructure is being strangled by lack of funding. Various segments of the nation's transportation industry say they are finding it tougher to navigate through the roadblocks that have resulted from lack of progressive spending. American Transportation Research Institute official Dan Murray claims the economy shows improvement while congestion worsens. In a nutshell, according to the American Society of Civil Engineers, this nation is only spending half of the $2.2 trillion needed over a five-year time period to repair and expand. One example comes from UPS. The courier company alleges that if each of its 95,000 delivery trucks were to be delayed by five minutes each day, it would cost over $100 million annually in lost fuel, productivity, and wages. A survey from the National Association for Business Economics indicates there's a better jobs picture ahead. Latest figures show an average of 188,000 jobs per month will be created through 2012, resulting in the unemployment rate dropping to 8%. The same survey shows the economy itself growing at a rate of 2.4%, the balance of this year and upwards of 2.8% in 2013. Contractors seeking to reduce their paper flow will be interested to learn of new computer software designed to respond to bids. Read Construction Data and Bluebeam Software have teamed up to speed up workflow processes. The new Review Standard software provides for markup, AEC collaboration, and PDF creation, all designed to meet bid deadlines faster. Inflation appears to be easing, at least from the latest U.S. Labor Department report on construction materials prices. While the monthly index barely moved, the annual cost of non-residential construction materials rose 2.4 percent. Specifically, the cost of asphalt, roofing tar, siding, and lumber decreased slightly in the last month, which ABC chief economist Anurban Basal cautions may only be a temporary situation, considering the long-term scenario doesn't see much stabilization. Talk about an economic impact, the nation's largest coal-fired power plant built in the last 30 years is set to go online soon in Washington County, Illinois. The Prairie State Energy Plant will generate 1,600 megawatts of electricity across eight states and two and a half million customers. It has its own coal mine and employs some 500 people. Prairie State will have a $22 billion economic impact during its lifespan. And we close with this. A groundless rumor often covers a lot of ground. This is Construction News Tracker, watching out for the industry that makes the world a better place. We're brought to you by Caterpillar and produced by 4constructionpros.com. You can access us anytime at facebook.com forward slash 4constructionpros or at Twitter, where you can share us with friends or leave a message using hashtag construction news, as the streaming web never ends.